Learning how to log into Desire to Learn. At the top of the page, you'll see the website to get into Desire to Learn. I would mark this and put this somewhere on your desktop or somewhere safe where you can access it quickly and easily. You will have received an email from Desire to Learn with your username and password. Your username will most likely be your first and last name. Mine is different, but please check that email and you'll find your username and you'll be given a password. And then after you're given that generic password, you'll be prompted to change it immediately. And I already went through that process of changing my password, so I'm ready to go. So after you have your username and password uh, entered into these boxes, you can click on login. Now you'll come to the Desire to Learn homepage. And at the top, you can always get back to this home page by clicking on My Home. You will be able to see the courses that you're enrolled in by clicking on Select a Course, the down arrow. And as you'll see, I have a number of courses, but you'll only have the courses that you are currently enrolled in with Parkland College. You'll also find these courses down below on My Courses. Now, if you go up to select a course, you will find in your course list a student orientation. And this is a very useful course. And I strongly suggest that you go through the orientation if you are a brand new user to Desire to Learn. And on the orientation, it will tell you how to if you click on how to videos, it will show you how to log into D2L how to hand in assignments on D2L, how to access grades, how to communicate and check email. And you'll find a variety of other things on that student orientation uh, course as well. Okay, So I would always go back there. If you're ever having troubles with Desire to Learn or forget how to do something, please check the student orientation course and you'll find lots of information in that course. At the top, you'll also see an icon. It's called Message Alerts. And this is an icon uh, that will be lit up with a red dot whenever you've received a message from an instructor or from somebody else that's in your class. So whenever you see a red dot, please check on it, click on it, and you can either choose to go straight to your email through Desire to Learn or the message will come up here too. Right now I have no items found. And next you'll see an icon called Update Alerts. Whenever your instructor has marked an assignment or has given you feedback on something, a little red dot will show up. And you can click on that and it'll take you right to that assignment. Or whenever an instructor has updated something in, within your course, it will also have a red dot. So you can also have a look at any updates throughout your course. Okay. You won't use this subscription alerts um, icon right now in Desire to Learn. And the next one is your profile. So you can click on it. And I strongly suggest that you go through your profile. Add your name for sure, where you're from. Add any information that you'd like to share. Because the more information you like to share, the easier it is for your instructor get to get to know you. Okay? And you can always save and delete and add and subtract things from here um, as you wish. I want to save and close that now. So you're back here, and you might have some different icons than me as I'm an instructor, but uh, please feel free to go through some of these things. Your instructor might wish to have a calendar update. Uh, there might be things under student information that you might want to access. Okay, but the most important thing is accessing your courses. So I'm going to access my course through the top, and I want to pick on the first course that I'm teaching, and that's ELA 30. And I strongly suggest that you make sure you read everything that your instructor has posted in your courses. So feel free to go through um, the course and have a look at all the different things that your instructor has laid out for you. Okay. And I strongly suggest you start at the beginning of the course and work your way through the course. You don't miss any assignments or miss any details that are necessary to be successful in the course. 
If you have any questions at all, you can always contact your instructor. And I wish you the best of luck in your desire to learn course at Parkland College. Thank you.